Welcome to another video on my um, Visitechnik Bluetooth set with a controller, um, receiver, um, two power motors and well a server motor. Uh, last time I had to reconstruct the carriage because or the car um, because it was um, not acting properly. And um, I tried to use uh, some Bluetooth app from Fisitechniek as well on both, um, um, let's say, Apple and Android devices. So my idea is now to um, focus and continue with that. I already put a battery in here, but I haven't uh, yet connected to the battery pack, so this one didn't pair yet. Um, time to set it all up and do uh, some more tests and focus a little bit on Apple uh, being the iPad and for Android. So this is uh, activated now, I have to press here on the on button and it immediately connects, that's good. So that works and that works. So that's all very nice. Um, although the backside is not entirely balanced um, from what I see, but it's enough. So let's um, let's see some for uh, uh, the other devices and that takes a little a bit of explanation all right now from a different perspective um, with webcam because I want to show you this um, simple schematics uh, as the text says left side joystick and the right side joystick and with this one as well. Since this one, uh, the servo motor is only applicable when you want to actually steer something. It has little use in my case. So I will um, uh, considering removing it or just let it be there just for the sake of it. Um, as simple as that. Battery, you have seen, etc. So, what to do next? Well, you see them here. Um, Android smartphone, um, iPad, and an Android tablet. And that's the next thing to show. Alright, going to the Android devices. Um, last time, and I'm quite convinced of that, um, I used um, or I tried to use my Android tablet as well as my Android smartphone and I have um, taken some info from the uh, Fisitechnik forum and there it turns out that um, not uh, just me with um, Android problems uh, where it comes to using the Bluetooth And um, then the uh, idea is, okay, uh, so what's worse? Well, the iPad works, which is simply said, this one, which is now blacked out, but let me use it. And where is that Bluetooth control? So this is the one you should use and then you have the yellow light here now it is the blue light because I already paired with this one anyway this one is uh, not an option and this one is not an option anymore um, so why did I make those uh, apps anyway well I don't know, but nobody uh, could tell me um, 
uh, they had a good Android experience with this Bluetooth. Um, with the iPad, yes, but uh, in order to use it, I better put it on the floor. So I can do this and then it should work. And then is something interesting. Um, in the previous episodes, um, I pointed out that there is a yellow light and a blue light. And I was mistaken that uh, the yellow light is for example um, the iPad. Turns out that that is not the case. According to the manual, the yellow light is indicating that or used for uh, a second uh, receiver. So if I have this receiver and another one, it would point out that that is a second one. So why is this one burning? Probably because um, I set it like that. Um, okay, not quite as I expected, but anyway, let's uh, scan the whole thing again. Um, enable blu uh, Bluetooth. Well, I was convinced that I have Bluetooth enabled, maybe not. So let's set Bluetooth. It is set to on. Bluetooth is on, so that's not a problem. Again, the app and scan. Um, I can't press start. So whatever the reason, okay, let me press again, it won't work, okay, I have to check once again, so let me for now take the controller itself, press on, it pairs immediately again. Okay, this weird movement is due to my inability as yet to control them. So let me do it. I do. Okay, so. Hmm. Gently. I thought it, uh, I did it gently. It doesn't work like that apparently. Okay, there's something wrong with the left motor. I have to fix that. All right, back on the table. And when I put the carriage like this, then there's nothing wrong with the construction on the gears. Absolutely nothing. Um, and this is the left side. This can be improved a bit, but if I do it like this and take the control And this is what happens. So, both together. Uh, okay, that is interesting.
that is most interesting. I push them both and the left side doesn't work as much as the other one. I have to push it a lot further. Or vice versa actually because this is that one. So I'm pushing them at the same time and this one goes much slower. How is that possible? They are the same motors? Yes. Same way connected, there's no software involved, just Bluetooth and uh, power from the battery pack. So this is a little bit weird. And of course, with this, uh, beyond my control, beyond my programming, um, I can't really explain this. And there's no use using the iPad because I can't make contact. So that's a bit weird. Does it make sense? Not to me. Okay, then um, let's go back to the uh, to the floor test. So with this um, kind of knowledge about uh, one motor or one joystick, whichever it is, let's try some more. And pushing them forward makes them go backward. So let's. Yeah, that's the weird thing. So. Trying to put them forward is pushing back. So actually, what I should do is reverse the wires. I should actually reverse the wires, taking care of the battery pack, of course. Um, and I should that should do that for both of them. So let me do that. Okay, reverse the wires. So now forward is actually really going forward. And now you see once again what is happening. Oh, I think I noticed what is happening with one of the motors. Uh, one of the axle clamps is not really tight enough. I hope this helps. That may be a very good reason. See. So now gently forward, gently backwards. Gently forward. See, that is a much better idea. And now it's out of view for the camera. Now it's in camera again. Slightly and slightly forward. Very slightly, I hope. So, I think reversing the wires is a nice idea. Uh, it is exit for iPad and Android. And everything has to, do, to be done with this one. And gently. So, with that, um, I guess it's the end of um, this video. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel to give the video a thumbs up. Leave a comment or suggestion, uh, very much appreciated. Um, you can also follow me via Twitter and Instagram and um, please uh, you can support me uh, by uh, becoming a patron and if you don't want to do that uh, you can also 
um, make a donation via either PayPal or IBAN. Um, this is most likely going to be continued. Um, for now, have a nice day. Uh, stay safe. Take care. Bye.